Hello, right, and welcome to lesson eight of Krav Maga classes online. Uh, this is a very special class because it means that you're halfway through the course. Okay, so just to mark how special this class is, okay, we're going to do something. We're going to do 200 press ups throughout the class. Seems like a lot if you do all in one go. When you spread it over 90 minutes, it's not too bad, okay? But that's our goal, is to do 200 press-ups throughout the whole of this class. All right, so, get yourselves a uh, spot to get a little bit loosened up, okay? We're gonna get started in about a minute, and then we'll crack on with it, okay? Okay, lovely, right, let's get started. So, feet together, hands by your sides. Bow in, and jogging on the spot. Nice and easy, nice and relaxed. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Shoulders nice and loose. Bounce forwards and backwards. Keep breathing going. Side to side. And jogging. Arms out to the sides. Roll the wrists forwards. And backwards. Arms forward, up the back, breathing in. Up the front, breathing out. Up the front, breathing in. Down the back, breathing out. Okay, make sure when you're breathing, you're fully inflating your lungs, pulling the uh, air in. When you breathe out, tensing your sinus muscles, collapsing your ribcage, getting all of that dead air out of the bottom of your lungs. Okay, jumping jacks with me. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And jumping. Twists now. Okay, one step forward, one step back, palms up. And palms forwards, palm strikes. From the hands to the shoulders, back out to strike. And she's now. And jump in. Okay, well, I go, step around right to the left. Good. Nice 
Nice and loose to the shoulders. Change direction. Change direction. And jogging. Okay, down and up. Down. Down. Up. Up. Down up. Up down. Down up down up. Up down up down. Okay, and shake it. Okay, turn to your chest, looking down. And up. And down. And up. To the right. And the left. To the right. And left. Up to the right. Turn to the left. Up to the right. Turn to the left. Up to the left. Turn to the right. Up to the left. Turn to the right. Hands on the hips, tilt the hips up in front, over the right, over the back, and the left. Okay, keep going round. And we're using your core, mobilizing the base of your spine, stretching out those stubborn muscles back the other way. Okay, feet together, head up, back straight, bend the knees. So looking forwards, make sure you can feel the stretch on the base of your calf there. Okay, rotating clockwise, and then anti-clockwise. Okay, bouncing your left foot, bring your right knee up parallel to the floor, rotating clockwise, Anti-clockwise. Looking to your right, just balance and push the leg out. Rotating clockwise, then anti-clockwise. Foot back down, balance to the right foot, left knee up. Rotating clockwise, anti-clockwise. Looking to the left, push and balance. Rotate foot clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Foot back down again. Okay, jogging. Keep breathing down. Okay, nice and down. There you go, bend the knees, knees to the elbows, or press up, and up. Down. So make sure to bring your knees right between your elbows. Down. Okay, three in a row, get ready. Down. Down. And down. Dummy. This time I'm going to sit down. You're going down. Yeah. Right leg and release to the left. Come up. Guard position. Down. Okay, this time when I say down, same thing, I'm going to come up, left leg underneath, I'm going to come up, rotate the opposite direction, facing there and guard. Get ready. Down. Down. 
When you come up, make sure as you turn into your left, that your left arm's coming up into that guard position. Do it. Do it. Okay, jogging. Okay, once they go, go back to the left leg. Bring your right knee up to the elbow for count ten. Okay, with me. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On the side. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Jogging. Okay, so I'm going to the left. Go. Change. Change. And jogging. Okay, this time, biting your left leg, kicking your right leg for count of ten. Okay, get ready. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Jogging. Second round to the left. Go. Keep breathing going. Change. Change. And jogging. Okay, stop there. Sneak legs out. Press up position. We're going to do 10 press ups on my call. When we do the press ups, as we come up, take one hand, touch the opposite shoulder, okay? To start off with, as we come up, take a left hand, touch the right shoulder. For count of 10, on me. Go, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, on your backs. Twenty wood chops. Off you go. straight down to six inches off the floor okay so get ready feet six inches off the floor one and then two three try to keep his legs straight four five six 
Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay. I've got to use my hands. Bit of a circuit. <coughs> Take direction. Take direction. Okay. Before we go and do a little circle, when I say down, give me a down, one press up, up, and front kick. Circle in the opposite direction, then I say down again. You come up and you kick with the other leg. So we're going to start off coming up, kicking with the left. Second time we're going to kick with the right. Alright, so when we do this, I'm going to do that, we're doing a normal burpee. So we stop, knees down, feet back, one press up, then you come up and from this position here. Okay, I want you to explode here into the kick rather than standing up and then kicking is part of how you get up. Alright? So, second to the left first, do the press up and uh, kicking to the right foot. Okay? So, get ready. Go! Down! So, in the opposite direction. Down! Relax. Shake your legs out. Okay, so what we're going to do here in this position, we're going to practice stepping back into guard position, striking and getting your hands into guard from neutral. So we're going to be here. And I say go, bring your left arm up, step back into good guard position and make the strike. So we're here, left arm bend and strike. Okay? Nice and relaxed to start off with. So I say left, strike with the left hand. When I say right, strike with the right hand. Important about, about the important part about this exercise is I'm not stepping back before I punch. The hand moves to here. Now as the hand gets to 90 degrees and starts moving forward here, the rest of the body moves. Okay, so, with me. Left then right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right, left, right, good, okay, a little bit faster now, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, Okay, faster again. Get ready. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, fast as you can, mate. Snap it out, full speed, full power. Right, 
Lovely, okay, good work. So, take a breather for a minute or two, grab a drink, and relax. So walk around, have a drink, breathe in through the nose, and through the mouth. Forward break fall and forward rolls. Okay, so forward break fall. Okay, and forward roll over the left shoulder. Okay, or over the right shoulder. Okay, so just to cover and revise what we're talking about. When we're doing the front break fall, the important element of what we're doing is to reduce the speed at which I hit the floor. I cannot stop myself from falling. I can't get to here and go, oh no, it's okay. For whatever reason, uh, I can't step forward and get my balance or it's happened so fast that uh, I can't do that. So I'm falling towards the floor. What I need to do here as I'm falling to bend my knees, I'm still falling, and then push out here, turn my head to the side so I don't smack my face in. Okay? So what you're doing, instead of falling towards the floor like this, you're going here and then out. Okay? So as I fall here, I'm bending my knees here, I push out, head to the side so I don't smash my nose in. Notice I'm stretching out stretching out. I just put my hands down here in front of me, my hands will go behind me and I'll just smash, head, smash my head into the floor anyway. So I want to stretch out, okay? Forward rolls. It's a structure, okay? Left leg forward, okay? Right hand down, okay? Now notice here, my knee, Inside my, my right arm here, toes facing forward, fingers facing forwards. Left hand perpendicular, okay, bum in the air, this position, okay. Now I'm going to put my head under my right armpit, I can keep it there. And I'm just going to bend my arms, bend my arms, and then roll to this position, okay. So I'm tucking my right leg up underneath me, left leg forward, okay. The idea being is as we roll from this position here, Okay, this position here, as momentum of my body comes forwards, it makes it easy for me to get to this position here and get up. All right, so and again, so left leg forward, right hand down. Okay, left hand perpendicular, fingers touching, looking underneath my right armpit, bum in the air, bend my arms, roll, tuck my right leg underneath. Left leg over the top. Keep the momentum going, get myself up into guard position. Okay? So obviously going to the other side is, is the opposite of that. Okay, opposite shoulder. So what you can practice is you can practice doing the roll and coming up into normal guard, facing forwards in the direction that you're rolling. But also you can practice coming up and rolling in the opposite direction uh, sorry, as you come up, uh, you, you turn in the opposite direction and uh, face the direction that you're rolling from. So if you imagine, I've been pushed and the shoulders here, 
and I've gone to do a break fall and for whatever reason it's not going to happen or I've noticed that the, you know, the attacker is following me uh, from behind. I can go down like this, I can do my roll, get to this position, I can look and see the attack is there, I can come up and I can do whatever I'm doing from there. But notice where my feet are is perfect for, for rotating because that makes my exact guard position. Okay, so I'm here, I do my roll here, see where my feet are here, I roll, rotate, okay, and they're in my good guard position. All right, so what I want you to do is practice from break fall, okay, so we're practicing, allow yourself to fall, bend your knees, push out, collapse your, uh, and, and collapse yourself to the floor, head to the side, then practice your forward rolls. Stepping forward with the left foot first, going over the left shoulder, then stepping forward with the right foot, going over the right shoulder. And then practice getting up in the direction, in, in, in guard in the direction that you're facing, or getting up and as you get up, rotating and facing the opposite direction. Okay, so we're going to do five front break falls, five rolls over the right shoulder, getting up facing forwards, five rolls over the right shoulder, uh, coming up and rotating and facing the, the direction you came from, then the same over the left. So you go over your left shoulder uh, and, and come up facing the direction you're going, and five more rolls of the left shoulder rotating and facing the direction you came from. Okay? But as this is the, uh, the eighth session, before we do all of that, 20 press ups. Off you go. Okay, so, as soon as you're done, up you come, off you go.
Fundamentals technique one. So, we're going to work on here a bit of groundwork. So, we're going to uh, work on the shrimp and uh, being in the guard and striking, and somebody being in your guard and, and, uh, and attempting to get out of it. All right? So, first things first the shrimp. There are two uh, main actions on the floor the bridge and the shrimp. Uh, both of them allow you to move your body in a different way. Uh, the, the bridge involves coming here, hips off the floor, and you're rolling the crazy uh, bridge with the hips. The, the shrimp is somewhat different, okay? Because what you're doing is this. Okay? That's the shrimp. So you're here. Here I'm bringing my right foot up, and I'm going to push with my right foot, okay? I'm going to keep this foot locked into the ground, and I'm going to push. I'm going to roll onto my left shoulder, and I'm going to point my fingers down towards my left foot, okay? And then as I push with this foot here, my bum is going that direction, and my fingers are going down towards here, okay? Now, if you probably notice what's happening, is I'm bringing my body to the side, okay? So I'm here, there, gone. Okay, I'm bringing my body to the side, I'm moving my hips from that where they were to somewhere else, okay? So if, if I'm in the situation, for example, where somebody's here in my guard, I can use this technique here to bring my hips up quickly and maybe have the opportunity of bringing my foot between my body and theirs, okay? So that's one of the functions of the shrimp. There are other reasons for it, where if somebody's over the top of you and trying to get your body out to the side, but, that, but that's much later on. The, the main point for this exercise is what you're doing is you're bringing your hips back very quickly uh, and giving yourself an opportunity to, uh, to get out of a situation where someone's in your guard, all right? So, the way we're gonna practice, we'll practice to both sides. So first of all, we bring the right leg up, heel on the floor, foot flat on the floor, okay? Roll onto your left shoulder, fingers towards the right foot, and push to there. Then you're gonna go the other way. So we're here, left foot on the floor, flat, heel down. Okay, roll onto my right shoulder, pointing my fingers towards my right foot, and push, there, all right? So, this is what we're gonna practice. So when I say go, all right, you lie on the floor, get ready, follow the instructions, and I'm gonna just do three to either side so we know we've got the technique right, okay? So, lie on the floor, get ready, okay, and you're gonna bring your right foot up, Okay, when I say one, you're going to roll onto your left shoulder, point your fingers down towards your left foot, push with your right foot, and try and touch your toes, okay? So, leg up first, and one. Boom. Okay, back to flat position. Left foot up, roll again. Now, when I say two, you're going to roll over onto your right shoulder, fingers towards the right foot, and push. Okay, so get ready. Two. Good, and back to the middle. Get ready. Right foot up, and one. And back. Left foot up, and two. And back. Right foot up, and one. Left foot up, and two. Good, okay, so. That's the shrimp, okay, that's something you can practice. Now, talking about being in the guard. All right, so, first thing first we're gonna practice, if we are in the guard, okay, for whatever reason, uh, you know, being in a situation, we've rolled over, and I've ended up in my attacker's guard, how do we strike and get up safely from that situation? When we talk about being in the guard, uh, you're talking about being between, between somebody's legs, okay? So, let's just borrow this for a second. So the situation here, would be, uh, if, their, if their body is here, that would be uh, if I'm in the mat, so I mean, my knees would be either side of them, and I'd be striking here. In this situation, it's the other way around, so the legs are, their legs are outside of us. So I'm gonna practice here, and my pad or a pillow or whatever it happens to be, here in front of me, I'm gonna imagine that I've got the, the legs are here, so they're, they're groin here, is at the base of where this pad is. Okay, the solar plexus is kind of here and then the head's up there. 
because I'm between their guard, I'm limited to how far forward I can bring my knees and therefore how far forward I can stretch. So we just have to be aware of that when, when, when we're thinking about striking. So, first things first, striking to the groin. Bang, 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 okay? Solar plexus, hammer fists. Okay, face, hammer fists. Okay, now, hooks, I can come in here at the floating ribs here, bam, bam, bam. But if I want to strike to the head and I do a hook punch, I'm gonna break my fingers, all right? Because I'm gonna hit like this and I'm gonna hit the side of his head, which is very hard, with my fingers there. So I have to rotate and strike with my big knuckles here if I'm gonna strike the head with a hook, all right? So we have punching to the groin, hammer fist to the solar plexus or hammer fist to the head. Hooks here to the body or rotating hooks to the head, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna practice. Punch, punch, hammer, 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 low hook, high hook, okay? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay? So, uh, if, if you don't have a pad or a pillow or whatever, um, just, uh, just work through the process of it. You're gonna aim down towards the floor because that's where you're actually gonna be aiming. So we're gonna strike with the left hand first. So with me, we're gonna go punch, punch, hammer, hammer, solar plexus, hammer, hammer to the head. Low hook, low hook, rotating hook, rotating hook, okay? Now what we can also do is elbow strikes. So here I can drop down, boom, here. Elbow strike to the head, elbow strike to the head. Now in reality, my, my, uh, my hand here is not to support myself, it's just to uh, you know, just make sure that I'm keeping myself on line and balanced as I strike. Because really what you're going to end up doing is this. You know, you're going to drop your whole body weight with your elbow uh, down on their head or, or their body, okay? So, now we have 12 strikes. So we're here, punch, punch, hammer, hammer, hammer to the head, hammer to the head. Hook to the ribs, hook to the ribs, inverted hook to the head, inverted hook to the head, elbow to the face, elbow to the face. Okay, so, and again, so with me. Punch, punch, hammer, hammer, head hammer, head hammer. Low hook, low hook, rotating hook, rotating hook, elbow, elbow. Okay, one more time. Punch, punch, hammer, 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 hammer. Low hook, low hook, high hook, high hook. Elbow strike, elbow strike. Okay, so that's what you're gonna go through, all right? Finally, if you are uh, in a position where you have somebody in the guard, okay? So somebody's in your guard. So from this position here, first things first, protection, okay? We've talked about this before, but if somebody is here in their guard and they're punching down to you, elbows tucked in, hands behind the head, okay? To make sure that you're protecting all of those sensitive areas of your head, all right? So hands behind, elbows tucked in, rolling, okay? Rolling, rolling, rolling. But looking at the same time. So I'm here, hands behind, elbows tucked in. So you can see from this position that you can still see my eyes. I can still see as I'm rolling here, one eye or the other, okay? As I'm looking, as I'm looking down there, I can roll, I can cover. However, to actually strike me in any kind of uh, sort of sensitive area, it's very, very difficult. Because here, if you punch to the top, you're going to punch to the top of my head, which is, which is hard and well protected. To try and get through this space here to my face, very, very difficult, especially as I'm rolling and turning here. There's no sort of direct strike. Strike to the side of my head. I've got my, my, uh, my temples and the and side of my ears covered here. All right, so it's very difficult to get to a, to a sensitive spot. All right, so this is a good defensive position. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be rolling here, looking, looking, looking. Okay, and they're going to be striking and moving and you're going to try and protect yourself as best you can, okay? As the punch comes up, we're going to go 360 and strike, okay? So we're here, there, 360 and strike, all right? Position there, rolling, 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 360 and strike. And as we do that, straight after that, we're going to pull in, boom, to there, okay? So from the other side, 
tilt this position here, rolling, 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 okay, 360 and strike. Grab behind the head, pull in. Now at this point here, we have their head in this position here. What I can do is I can stick my thumb in an eye, I can punch, I can elbow strike to the head here, elbow strike across here, okay, I'm pinning the head here. So I'm punching, thumb in, maybe your fingers like this, maybe elbow strike across, Okay, maybe I can hear uh, elbow strike to the, to, to the side or the back of the neck. All right? So, our attack is in the guard here. Defensive position. You're going to go one, two, three. We're still looking, okay? 360 and strike. Bang! Wrap the head, pull in, strike, strike. Elbow, fingers in the eyes, okay? Just that. All right, so just think about where the head is and where you would be striking. Obviously, if you're working with a partner and you're doing this, uh, first of all, be careful. But as you pull in here, it gives you a lot more uh, idea of the, the, the targets that you've got and what you can practice to strike and whether it's possible for you to come across the elbow, or whether just a, a direct piston punch across your body is more effective. Okay, so that's what I'd like you to do. So, first of all, you're going to do three shrimps to either side. Second of all, you're going to get a pillow or, uh, or um, uh, if you've got a pad, use a pad, or if you haven't got any of those, just, uh, just visualise. And you're going to go through your set of 12 strikes, so groin, groin, hammer, 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 low hook, long inverted hook, and then two elbow strikes coming down on top of the head, okay? So you're going to do that set of, uh, of 12 strikes, do that three times, okay? And then you're going to imagine that somebody's in the guard here. You're rolling, 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 360 and strike, pull them in, piston punch across the body, or poke into the eyes. Okay, so shrimp, three either side, three lots of the 12 strikes, three lots of, uh, of um, uh, guarding, 360 and strike, pulling in, and, and then striking again. Have a little break, and then go back and start doing it again. Okay? Good. Uh, but before we start all that, 20 press ups. Okay. Good. And off you go.
And stop there. Active content, striking while moving in guard. The things you want to work about and work on here is making sure that you maintain your guard position. Uh, when we're striking, we're moving forward, punch, punch. Okay. In crowd, we're always moving. The foot that is nearest to the direction that we're going is the foot that moves first. Okay. So we're here moving forwards, bang. Okay. Here, moving backwards, bang. Moving to the left, moving to the right. Okay. Now, for obvious reasons, moving forwards and moving to the left is a lot easier because it's lead leg, lead hand, bang or bang. Okay. Moving backwards or to the right, it's opposite. So, rear leg, lead hand, rear leg, lead hand. Okay. When we're doing this, I just want you to think about maintaining balance. Okay. What I mean by that is that if we're going this, this, uh, in this direction, if we're going to the left, okay, don't be crossing over this way. Okay? Try and maintain, you know, we all know what a good guard position is here. It's balanced, head above shoulders, above hips, okay? Rear heel slightly off the floor, hips about shoulders width apart, uh, feet about shoulders width apart, okay, so we're balanced, okay? So from the front, we're balanced, okay? Just try and think of that balance. Every time you're moving, bang, bang, you move into that balance point. There. You know? Each time you'll move into that guard position. And that will make it easier for you to move in any other direction. All right? So that's what we're going to do. So I'll make the calls forwards, backwards, left, and right. And what I want you to do is just to follow that. Really focus on making sure that you keep your balance throughout. Okay? Before we get started, 20 press ups. Okay, get ready. On guard. Three, two, one, go. Forwards. Backwards, left, right, forwards, backwards, left, right, forwards, forwards, backwards, backwards, left, left, right, right, forwards, right, left. Backwards, forwards, 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 backwards, backwards, left, left, forwards, backwards, backwards, left, right, right, forwards, right, right, forwards, and stop. Take a breather, 30 seconds. Okay, get ready. On guard. Three, two, one. Forwards. Backwards, left, right, right, left, forwards, forwards, backwards, backwards, forwards, left, left, right, right, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, right, right, left. Left, forwards, forwards, backwards, backwards, left, right, forwards, right, left, right, forwards, forwards, backwards, backwards, 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 forwards,
forwards, left, right, and relax. 30 seconds. Okay, get ready. On guard. Three, two, one. Go. Forwards. Backwards. Backwards. Forwards. Left. Right. Right. Forwards. Left. Backwards. Forwards. Left. Right. Right. Forwards. Backwards. Forwards, backwards, left, right, left, left, backwards, forwards, 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 right, right, forwards, backwards, backwards, forwards, left, right, right, left, left. Forwards, right, forwards, and stop. Good. Have a breather. Deep breaths into the nose, back to the mouth. Technique two, elbow strikes from neutral position to the side. So, these are the three elbow strikes if your attacker is directly to your side. They depend uh, about range, they depend on range. So how far away the attacker is from you. You have to bear in mind that uh, the elbow strike distance is not out here. All right, well, it's, it's fairly close in. If it's out there, there's no point in trying to you know, elbow strike someone because that, the punch is, is a much more efficient motion. So for whatever reason uh, in this situation, uh, I can't use my hand to strike or, 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 or they're slightly closer. There's a direct elbow strike here. There. I bring my elbow up, boom, driving in. Now when we land at that point of the strike, so here, boom, okay, you want to have the elbow on line with the shoulder. And the reason why is so that you've got your body directly behind the line of force. So if, for example, if my elbow is here, and I lean into it, my elbow is going to bend, all right? If my elbow is here, and I lean into it, you know, I don't go anywhere, all right? Because my body is in a straight line behind the point of the elbow, okay? So there's nothing to bend. It's the most efficient way of transferring body weight and force, okay? So we're here, okay, and I'll be like, boom, okay? This is very much, you know, you're, you're driving your body weight in that direction, okay? The point is that this is a strike. That last bit there is poof, you strike, you're applying force. It's not sort of just, you know, lifting my elbow up here and lifting bottom and, and driving forwards. Okay, so that's the first one. For this position here, driving in. The second one, this is when you're not necessarily stepping. You might make a little step depending on the distance, but mainly it's not about stepping. Here, we're coming up underneath 
the chin of the opponent who's standing close in here to my side. Bang. Now, when you look from the side, you'll notice that as I do it, my palm comes slightly forwards. So I'm here, palm. The reason for this is that if I just bring my elbow up in a straight line like this, okay, at about this point here, my arm doesn't want to go any higher because it goes against the, the, the natural motion of my shoulder. Okay, so I'm going here, I get to there, it kind of stops. All right? If I want to strike through the target, which I do, I need to do something slightly different to, um, to be able to get my shoulder to move in that direction. So as I move, I'm just going to bring my palm just ever so slightly forwards as I do it. So here. Now this now, I can bring my elbow up this high. Okay? It's kind of strange that it's a small difference, but it makes a big difference. Here, it stops here. Here, it goes all the way up. All right? So, you're visualizing, or you're working with the partner, so the, the target is right here next to you. You're just gonna come up here, bang, there, bang. All right? So, we have the first one, one. Second one, two, okay? The third one is coming across the body to the target, okay? Now, uh, Obviously, within Krav Maga, we would say, okay, nearest weapon, nearest target. Okay, so if my target is here, naturally, I would use, you know, my, my knee or my elbow or my hand or whatever on this side of my body. Because from this one to come across, it takes a lot longer, therefore it's inefficient. However, in this case, maybe somebody's grabbing my wrist and pulling my body weight down like this. So all my body weight is here. Now, I can't lift this leg off the floor to do, to do anything, all right? I can't strike with this arm. This, this arm is being, is being pinned. What I can do now is come across my body like this, rotate, boom, and strike. Right. So this side here, this hand is immobilized. Here I'm coming, bringing my hand across my body like this, rotating and striking. Now, from this side here, okay, this hand is being pinned, bringing my arm across my body, rotating, and strike across. Okay. Now, Depending on how far away the other person is, depends on what you do with this foot. Okay? If they're close in, if, if they're directly here, then you don't need to move at all. Okay? It's there, the hand comes up, I rotate, wash, there, okay? here. Oh, okay. Notice what I'm doing with my hand as well, I'm coming up my body here, I'm pointing my fingers in the direction of where the strike is going to be. Okay? My arm's not out here, it doesn't do this, oh, there's absolutely no need. If you imagine I'm in a corridor as wide as my body here, Okay, I can't bring my arms up here, my arm can only come this way. So I'm coming up forwards here, rotating and striking. So I have a very, very tight and fast hook. Okay, so here, there, there, here, coming across, across the side of the chin. All right, so when we do this, as I said, if they're close in, then it's just here, bang. However, it may be they're a little bit further away, okay? Maybe here, maybe they're, they're holding the arm and, and they're over there. So here I can take a step, bang, all right? It just gives me the ability to uh, adjust slightly, okay? So what I want you to practice when you, when, you, when you do practice this, I want you to practice as if the opponent is close in, so it's just a rotation here. A little bit further away, a small step, bang. We're a little bit uh, further, further away, but a longer step and a strike. Okay. Bear in mind again, if we're being efficient, if it's a longer step, the punch is just as good. So we're here. <clears throat> Alright. So let's practice. We're going to focus on one, two, and three. So one is the step and the direct strike. Two is no step, bring the arm up, palm slightly forward, elbow underneath the chin. Number three, arm across the body, elbow across the jaw. Okay, so I mean, we're going to go to, to the left first. So I'm going to say one, two, three in that direction. I'm going to go the opposite side. One, two, three in that direction. Okay, so to the left. One. 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 Two. 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 Three. Three, three, to the right hand. One, two, three, two, 
two, two, and three, 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 three. Okay, good. So, working it through and uh, going to left and right in groups of three as we've just done. And then on the last one, just vary the distance a little bit. Okay, so you could be here, you do one, one, uh, and then another one, two, a little bit of a step, maybe a bit of a longer step for the third one, bang. Okay, so just a little bit of a variation, just so you can, uh, you can work it through in your head. If you're working with a partner, just if you're the partner, grab close in, a little bit further away, a little bit further away. Again, don't go too far, okay, because then, you know, if it's a big long step like this, it's pointless using the elbow, all right, you're using the punch, okay? So, uh, before we get started, 20 press ups. Okay, and up. Have a practice, off you go.
and start. Active content. Okay, just to revise what we're doing with active content. What we're doing is we're circling and kicking with the trailing leg. So we're circling here, kicking with the trailing leg, and going back and kicking again. Uh, on the second time we're doing this exercise, I want you to think about qualities a little bit. Okay, so the, the first time we've done the active content, we've thought about uh, just getting the exercise right. Okay, so now we're going to get the exercise right, but add a couple of qualities. Uh, the qualities I want you to think about here are the qualities of uh, the principles of craft. The first one, which is speed, uh, and, and the third one, which is effectiveness, okay, so body weight. So when I'm talking about speed, remember it's nearest weapon to the nearest target in as straight as long as possible. So when we're doing this kick, try not to be doing any you know, wasteful leg movements. So you're circling, boom, and I want you to be really kind of direct with that kick. That's the first quality. The second quality is that of the body weight, okay? So when we're kicking with the ball of the foot, we want to, boom, we want to throw the hips with it, all right? And so when we're doing that, obviously we're adding extra force because we're throwing our body weight with the kick. So as we're doing the exercise now, okay, we know what the exercise is, it's very straightforward, something that we, that we do quite regularly, okay? So we're circling, okay? But then as we kick, boom, okay? Direct to the target, boom, body weight, okay? So those two qualities, straight line, fast, okay? Body weight, effective, okay? Okay, get ready. On guard. Three, two, one, go. Forwards, backwards, left, right, forwards, backwards, left, right, forwards, forwards, backwards, backwards, left. Left, right, right, forwards, right, left, backwards, forwards, 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 backwards, backwards, left, left, forwards, backwards, backwards, left, right. Right, forwards, right, right, forwards, and stop. Take a break there, 30 seconds. Okay, get ready. On guard. Three, two, one. Forwards, backwards, left, right, right, left, forwards, forwards, backwards, backwards, forwards, left, left, right, right, forwards. Backwards, forwards, backwards, right, right, left, left, forwards, forwards, backwards, backwards, left, right, forwards, right, left, right, forwards, forwards, backwards, Backwards, forwards, left, right, and relax. 30 seconds.
Okay, get ready. Oh God. Three, two, one. Go. Forwards. Backwards. Backwards. Forwards. Left. Right. Right. Forwards. Left. Backwards. Forwards. Left. Right. Right. Forwards. Backwards. Forwards. Backwards. Left. Right. Left. Left. Backwards. Forwards. 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 Right. Right. Forwards. Backwards. Backwards. Forwards. Left. Right. Right. Left. Left. Forwards. Right. Forwards. And stop. Good. Have a breather. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Fundamentals, self-defense scenario, strangle from the side. <coughs> okay, so what we're imagining here, somebody grabbing two hands, the side of the throat here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drop him down, side of the groin, boom coming out underneath the chin or strapping to the solar plexus, depending on their height, grabbing the, uh, the rear shoulder, coming in and striking forward with the knee, okay? So we're here, they got a hold of my throat. Three things happen at the same time, okay? I'm imagining they're coming from my left, so here I'm taking my right hand up in a hook, boom, and I'm pulling down. So I'm here, okay? So if you imagine that I've got a hand coming in here, what I'm doing is I'm grabbing this wrist, boom, I'm pulling it down. And I'm pulling it hard to my chest so that they can't pull it away, okay? They can't retreat uh, away from this position. You've now pinned them to you and your throat is safe. So the throat grab comes from the side here. One, okay? At the same time, I'm bending my knees. Now, this is very dependent on if their arms are straight like this, or if they're close in, or if they're middle range, okay? We always need to adjust for the target. So the target is the groin, okay? If they are sort of mid-range, all I need to do is just bend my knees and strike. If they're a bit close to me, I might need to step out a little bit with this leg to give me a good range to strike up into the groin. If, if their arms are, are, are long, okay, and it's a long grab here, I may have to step slightly this way to bring myself into range, okay? Always bear in mind that you need to adjust to strike the target, uh, you know, depending on where it is. So, we're going to assume for, for the purposes of exercise that they're sort of relatively close in, so I'm going to have a slight step out as I do it. As I do this here, I'm dropping, okay, and I'm striking. I want to strike upwards like this because I want to crush the, the, te the testicles up against the pelvis here. So, here, there. All right, all right. So all happens at the same time. The, the, the opponent should feel the grip on the, on the wrist at the same time as the strike to the groin. So here, there, and stepping and striking. One, there. So when you think one in your mind, one is when the grab and the strike happens at the same time, okay? So that's the first motion, is this one. 
One. Okay? One. The second motion is this. <clears throat> is two. So I'm straightening my body up. So I've gone bent my knees here, down. I straighten my body up. I'm striking here underneath the chin. Now I'm assuming you strike something in the groin, the body's coming here, okay, and you're coming then coming up underneath the chin. It may be if they're close in that, you, that the head is now here and it's too close. So solar plexus is fine. Again, when you're working on your own, visualization is the tool that you use. Okay, you're imagining the different situations. You're visualizing the person there and you're thinking about what they might do and you train accordingly. I might think, okay, so he's close in, right? So I'm there, bang, oh look, his head's come right in here. So I'm gonna adjust, I'm gonna strike up into the solar plexus because I can't get to his head because it's too close over here. So I'm gonna think like, bang, bang, up into the solar plexus and then I'm gonna move into my final motion. Or I might think, oh, okay, you know, they're a bit further away there, bang, and, and his head's still there, so I can come up and come up underneath the chin. It's all about your visualization. When you're working with a partner, they can change how they react, okay, to give you visual cues, uh, you know, to, to the location where you can strike next. Anyway, so, we're here. So we're gonna go one, boom. Two, we're gonna straighten up and strike. Three, I'm then gonna rotate towards my attacker. So my elbow's here, I've struck him in the solar plexus or jaw. I'm gonna rotate towards, I'm gonna grab his shoulder here, all right? So I'm in this position, Struck in the groin, come up underneath. I'm rotating here, okay? Grab it, grabbing hold of his shoulder here, grabbing hold of his left shoulder, and this goes across his body. So I've now got a good control position. I've got his, his, um, uh, his hand pinched to my chest here, okay? So his arm is here, I'm grabbing like this, okay, nice and strong. And then what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna grab, skip in, and strike to the, strike to the groin. Okay, so we're here, one, two, Three, four, okay? So, this is what we're gonna practice. So you practice it with me. So we're gonna do each one three times. Okay, so get ready, we're gonna to go to the left first. So, one, and again. One, and again. One, okay? So now we're gonna do one, two. Okay, get ready. So, one, two, and again. One, two, and again. One, two, okay? Now we're gonna do one, two, three. So, one, two, three, boom. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, now we're gonna do the whole lot. So, one, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, Four, and again. One, two, three, four. Good, okay, so that's what I want you to practice. Three times one, three times one, two, three times one, two, three, three times one, two, three, four. Try and get it to nicely flow. First, technique is always the most important, so ensure that when you're practicing the first bit here, that this hand comes up to pull away and pin the hand of the chest, at the same time as the hand strikes the groin. Okay, so, uh, get yourselves ready, have a think about what you're doing. Make sure that when you're doing it, you create a good flow. And as always, this session, before we start, clean your press-ups. We go.
and stop there. Okay, five stops of space, 20 press ups. Okay, we finish that. 100 crunches. Okay, when you've done that, just turn the first ups. Okay, when you've done that, on your left side, 50 side crunches. Okay, this is that. And the left side, so right side. Uh, 50 side crunches. Okay, we're getting that. We'll start that. Left leg out, right leg tucked in. Other side. Yeah, left leg out again, right leg took behind. Your body into the space in the middle.
both feet out front. Grab hold of your toes, head up, back straight. Push your heels back as far as you can. Okay, keep your back straight, head up. Okay, deep breath in. And push a little further. Deep breath in. And push. Deep breath in and push. And relax. Okay, pull the heels in as far as you can. Try and get the knees down towards the floor. down towards your right thigh. Take a deep breath in and push. Keep breath in and push. And up, over the other leg, deep breath in, and fold. Deep breath in, and push. Deep breath in, and push. Okay, one hand in front, one behind, push a little bit wider. Okay, right hand underneath the right ankle, left arm over the top, deep breath in and fold. and try and bring your stomach towards the floor here. Okay, deep breath in and fold. Deep breath in and fold. Deep breath in and fold. One last time, deep breath in and fold. And relax. Okay, 
draaien. En je heel zin. Zeker leuk zwart. Make sure you got space. And back to roll. And up into guard. Oké. Okay. Hand to the hips. Big rotations. Taking clockwise. And out clockwise. Chin on your chest. Pull your head around. Right is the right shoulder. On the back, left is left shoulder. Chin on your chest. And back the other way. Switching the arms up, alternately. Okay, feet together, bend your knees, forwards and backwards, head up, back straight. Rotating clockwise. And anti clockwise. Right toes on the floor, rotate your ankles. Left toes on the floor, rotate your ankles. Right hand over left, shake your wrists, have a little bit of a jiggle back, make sure everything's nice and loose. So, there you go guys, thank you very much indeed for your effort, okay, that was the 8th session, you have done 200 press ups in 90 minutes or thereabouts, so give yourselves a pat on the back for that, and uh, see you next week, okay, feet together, hands by your sides, bye bye, well done, good work.